Hey guys, how's it going? So, I, Karina, just came out, and all of the other buffs for all the characters. And let's just jump right into it. I've got a lot to talk about with this character and all of the buffed ones as well. So, first of all, let's start with I, Karina here. Uh, ignore the triple S. Um, I was actually trying to pull just to get a bunch of her artifact, because if this doesn't proc, it doesn't do anything, which is pretty terrible. So I figured, you know, maybe I'll try to pull multiple of her, um, and on the way, try to get, like... You know a few of these i only pulled one of these but i got triple s in like two pities which i mean that's really lucky but come on man i just wanted this so i had to buy one from the shop and feed it in at ah, whatever basically i didn't give her any crazy gear um i tried a couple of different builds one with a little less defense more health um i'm currently trying this one out uh i also tried her on a crit build as well with crit chance and crit damage her scaling seems to be terrible with that so i wouldn't recommend it so, what do I say about this character? Well, I think in theory she seems pretty great because this pushes up, so it makes it so she's good against uh, aggressive teams or cleave or something like that, and then this can kill a squishy unit or do a good amount of damage to a normal unit and a defense break, so you can follow it up with some good damage. I think you want Efrez because she has no cleanse, um, and you don't need a crazy amount of speed because that's such a huge CR push, but I figure with these kinds of stats she should do a decent amount of damage and survive a good amount. Well, I used her a little bit, and I don't really think she does a whole lot at all, actually. I think she's very disappointing. Um, I find that this ability doesn't do as much damage as I would hope a lot of the time. Also, if it doesn't defense break, your opponent takes very little damage, mostly. Also, if this doesn't proc, then they take almost no damage, too. So, you kind of need to land the defense break and ha make sure that this procs. So, you know, if, if it doesn't, 20% chance not to, you're doing very little, honestly. So... This ability, it can be decent, but most of the time I found it just kind of wasn't. And if the opponent has immunity or something, it's really just not doing much at all. You really need that defense break. But are you supposed to build effectiveness on her? I don't really think you can afford to. I think you need some Ephraim, so you're not just getting debuffed by everything or defense broken by like Rand and other little things, right? Um, her S1 damage. This artifact is basically all the damage, and it's really not that much. I was doing like, what, maybe like 4,000? something damage with her s1 which is like okay i guess but not for really like a bruiser right i found her to be kind of disappointing i tried using her versus some aggressive teams as well and most of the time she would just kind of sit there and not really do a whole lot or she would die too easily to some of the burst because she's a defense scaling character not a health scaling and you know i had a tankier one before with about sixteen thousand health but she still wasn't insanely tanky uh, overall, I find her a little bit disappointing. I was completely wrong. I thought that she would be a much stronger character. Now, I am going to test her one or two other different ways. Um, I think I, what I'm going to do is try a 20,000 health one and kind of make her a tank using Aureus so she can be the actual frontline tank. She has a lot of utility. She defense breaks with this. She defense breaks with this. She can put a shield on the team. Those are all useful things. So I think I want to also test that out as her being like basically the knight soaking up the damage, but I'll have to make her much tankier for that. And she's also a pretty good wyvern unit, which I think is nice. So I think she's pretty useful for most newer players. Um, I think she's better than Giselle. I think Giselle is basically useless, and I think Arena has more use cases, even if she's not amazing at the moment. But maybe I'll change my mind with time, and maybe I'll find more uses for her, and maybe she's a pretty good tank. So... That's kind of the gist of this character. That's kind of how I feel. Um, in the clips that'll show later, I think I only have like one or two uh, games where I'm using her because most of the time I drafted her, I didn't really do anything. I would either win without her doing much or I would lose and she did nothing. So I felt like she was really weak overall. That's my initial thoughts on this character. Now, okay, she's not the best, but let's talk about some of the other changes. So the first one I'll talk about is Euphate. Now, I know a lot of people on Reddit and Stove were kind of unhappy about this because she's worse in PvE. Now she doesn't have a strip on this ability, she doesn't get the effectiveness buff, um, now this doesn't give speed buff, it gives defense buff, and yeah, she's a little worse for PvE, I'll acknowledge that. And I was thinking, okay, maybe she'd be a little bit better in PvP. She's a lot better in PvP, and actually really interesting and really fun. So, one of the big things is if your opponent is silenced, they take 70% defense pen, which is huge. Her S3 already did a lot of damage, so that's an enormous increase. And her soul burn, but this gives an extra turn, and it silences. So she's self-sufficient, right? She gives herself attack buff, she silences them, and she does the crazy damage, right? 
But also, you can combo this with other things. So one of the big things that uh, me and a lot of other people are trying out is full effect in a Zeo as the opener, because people can't really outspeed him. And then you just S3 anything, and then she pushes up, takes the turn. He holds book as well, so you soul burn into her S3 and you basically kill anything. I have one shot arrow walls, I have one, one shot Sagebone uh, Cezans, one shot Destinas, like anything that is silenced just dies. So he pushes them back, silences them, she executes them, also does a lot of damage, and she can combo with some of the other uh, units that you can use in Cleave as well. So I think Euphine's actually really cool. I actually regret using Grace of Growth on her because I think I just want to straight up six star this unit user. She's a lot of fun. Um, she also would combo with something like Assassin Sid, for instance, you know, just anything that silences on hit, even Benevolent Roman. But I'm also wondering, maybe you can build her as more of a bruiser, possibly, because she does give defense buff and stuff and use her with like Angel of Light and things. I wonder. Just a possibility. But I think she's really cool and really fun, and I'm actually really glad they made the change. So, she's the first one. Let me talk a little bit about Selene. I didn't use her too much, but I think some of the potential is there. Um, the fact that now she is able to hit a red unit with this and kill squishy red units is really nice. I think that's a great addition. Um, and basically, she's just a little bit better. Like, this ability, you know, it does a lot of damage and everything, but the main thing is just now if you have an insanely high damage Selene, which you would probably want more damage than I have to be more reliable, then she can just one-shot even, like, Summertime Asaria and all those kinds of units, just instantly take them out, which is really cool, actually. Um... I don't think she's going to suddenly be used everywhere and be like an amazing counter pick when she wasn't before, because for the most part, she's kind of the same. But I think it's a nice change, so I'm kind of glad they did that. Now let's talk about the next one, Astromancer Elena. So sorry anyone who didn't pull this unit, it sucks that they decided to buff her like a little bit over a month after her release, I think it's kind of messed up, but let's talk about this character. She was terrible before, now she's not only really cool and really interesting but also super fun um i think it's definitely worthwhile uh maxing out the damage on this thing i don't think you really need the cooldown reduction on this but the main thing is as soon as you aoe she pushes up using this ability right which is pretty good you know giving 20 percent combat readiness well this gives 15 when using non-attack skill so 35 percent combat readiness you don't really need her to be super fast which is awesome and this gives 10 souls, and this gives 10 souls, so she's basically just a book. So after you AoE, you get 20 souls, which you can use on her for this ability if you need it, or somebody else, which I think is really powerful. I think it opens up a lot of possibilities. Um, her damage is not insane, but I was using her a lot with a character like Rad. And, you know, if their defense broken, it doesn't really matter if your character does insane damage, because they still hit really hard, right? And what's so awesome is she is another bridge between your first turn unit and your second. So, you know, a character like Ran or even like Briar Witch Asaria, which we'll talk about in a bit, or any just AoE will activate her and then she takes that turn and then her attacking could possibly activate another character like Emil Pavel or someone like that. So it makes it so there's more possibilities to a draft, not to mention the fact that your opponent can't counterattack. I can just pick something like Ran into Aiden and he, she's not able to stop me, right? That's kind of awesome. I think that's kind of a big deal that some counters are kind of taken out and you're a little less scared of some other units because Ran has been having a really hard time recently. So I think it's really powerful. But, you know, she's not an end-all be-all character you want to pick every single match, but I think she's really fun. Just with the fact that she has CR pushes and gives you those extra souls makes her so cool. I was pretty much pre-banning Politis and Belay in every single game, trying to get my whole combo off with um, all my characters and I needed the CR push and everything, so I think she works really well, and I think she's a great addition for aggro or cleave players. I don't think she's really going to see much use in slower play, though. I never really got the chance to use her S1, almost ever, I think. I think literally never. So I think all that really matters is that you uh, max this out and put some decent damage gear on her. Um, since you don't have to run her too fast because of this, but if you max this out, you could run her even a little bit slower. Just be careful of speed RNG though, right? Now, what is the next unit? Okay, I'll talk a little bit about Dark Corvus. So my build is kind of jank. You'll see the three, three health pieces. I kind of had to take some pieces off of them for other characters, but I didn't really use them and I didn't really see them much either. However, I think this unit actually has some potential. There's a lot of hard debuffers in the meta. There's characters like uh, Pirate Captain Flan and Solitaria that have seen so much play recently, and they hard lock you down and stun you. Well, Dark Harvest doesn't care about that. He's stun immune now. 
So if you just run a character like Destina or something like that, with him some sort of like maybe heals or sustain, even something as simple as Ice Crystals is helpful for him, well, he just doesn't really care about all those debuffs coming his way for the most part, unless they're provoking him or silencing him, he's gonna just S3 them and they're gonna die. So it's a race against time and something like Solitaria is really not helping your opponent against this guy. So I actually think he's a decent unit. I think uh, if you get forced into slower matches against characters like maybe uh, Edward or uh, yeah, Pirate Captain Flight or Solitaria, it's just like they're just all feeding this guy. And if you can build him a little tankier than what I have, I think he probably want more defense. Then I think he can actually work really well in those matchups. So I actually think he's a lot of potential and I will be trying him out uh, very soon. Now, let's talk about Briar Witch Asaria. So I think her buff is actually pretty great. She's really strong versus Destina when you're playing Aggro or Cleave or anything along those lines. Um, or, you know, Apocalypse Ravi, those kinds of units, because they just can't revive. So sometimes your opponent's just so overwhelmed and they need that revive to come back. Like, let's say you kill a DPS and Destina's still around. You don't have to worry about Destina. Briseria's there. You can't do anything. She can't stop you, right? Or Apocalypse Ravi could kill one of your units, but they can't revive anybody, so she loses all of her momentum. So I have her at this kind of speed so that she can kill like Remnant Violet and Aiden, right? And now she has a 100% chance to hit them because I have Symbol with the 50%. So I think that's pretty great. Um, but I think you could build her two other ways too. I think you could build her really slow on insanely high damage so that she just executes an entire team by herself. And I also think you could build her maybe as like an opener or something along those lines so that she defense breaks. I mean, you could combo her into somebody like ML Elena, right? Which would be really great. Because, you know, she strips the buffs, she decreases defense. It's kind of like a mini Ran in a way, right? But she has more survivability and versatility with the fact that her passive works this way. Also works against Arbiter Vildred and Mercedes. So those are pretty useful things. Um, I'll definitely say that Emil Selene is having a hard time with Astromancer and Briar Witch, right? But I think this change makes her pretty solid. A lot of people are asking me, should I get Briar Witch from the, the like, headhunt? Or should I get Red Mid and stuff? I would wait a few days see a few more opinions before you really decide but I think she's a really nice character to have and I think she's useful if you're playing aggressive I'm not sure how much we're going to see her in slower play but if you put her on guiding light I think she becomes very flexible in that way so that's Briar Witches area and other than that I think that's kind of most of the stuff I'll talk about right here this is the Zeo I was using with uh, my cleave team that I was spamming today the last thing I do want to say though is Specimen says I did not build him um, he's level 5. I didn't grace of growth him or anything. I will say, I don't really have much hope for him. I don't see how uh, Sez could really be all that great. Did I say Specimen Sez? <laughs> Whatever. Um, I think that Sez's passive doesn't help him too much. Yes, he can survive easier, but he still keeps the debuffs and everything else on, so you need a lot of support for him. I think to really do a large amount of damage, you have to run him insanely slow with like absurd damage stats. Like Someone showed me one with like 6,000 attack, 224 crit damage, like, okay, that's cool, but he was 140 speed. So if your opponent just straight up has zero way of dealing with this guy, then I guess they kind of deserve to lose. Like, yeah, he hits kind of hard, but it's pretty difficult to make that happen. He does more damage than he did before, which is nice, but it feels like he's a character that just requires big setup. Um, maybe people are going to use him with those, like, Flan, Oxlots kind of push into big damage stuff. Yeah, you could use him there, but other than that, I don't think he's really going to have a ton of usability. Now, hey, maybe I'll eat my own words in a few days and people find out he's actually crazy. I guess I'll find out, but I asked around and I haven't had w even one person be able to really prove that he's good. People are just like, yeah, he's okay, but doesn't really seem like anything special, so... As of right now, don't get your hopes up uh, too much. But anyways, that's kind of it for now. Um, that's pretty much everything I have to say about the new character and the buffs. I might make a follow-up if I think something crazy changed or something. And I'm going to be trying out a lot of these uh, buffed characters because I think they're actually some pretty cool changes and I'm having a lot of fun with them. So uh, for the rest of the video, we have some clips of all my matches. And the final one's an interesting Guild War one. I think that these units are pretty fun in Guild Wars for sure. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like or subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you guys next time. I don't actually get souls at the beginning. That is such a slow tea closet. What is that? Oh my. Okay, I'm not going to defense break anything, but like...
I guess that's cool. Wait. 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 <laughs> it's no Ephraim. <laughs> Wait. Um. What? That. Sir, where is your Ephraim? What's going on, man? Where is your Ephraim, sir? They can't revive. There's nothing you can do. I have Briarwitch Asaria here. Like, he can't stop me. He might be on, uh, like, Holy Sack or something for all I know. Well, he took 35,000 damage and Eden died. Wow. Yeah, they can't revive. Okay. No way he resists this, right? We have like 250 effectiveness. Thank God. Oh, beautiful. Oh my, wait, check this out. Oh man. Give me some more souls for free. You fiends already gonna take the next turn? Oh, give me that. Beautiful. We don't even need Elena to take a turn. It's fine. Oh man. Okay, that Briar Witch is actually pretty fast. Um, this could be a bit of an issue. Is this gonna be on Kron? Oh, wait, he's. We got a gambling man here. He's lucky that that didn't land on anybody. Uh, this is kind of awkward. What is he gonna do? This is like incredibly awkward for him. Just use this three on her, I guess. Oh, wait, wait, that's... You sure about that? Give me that turn. Let's see the damage. Please proc the artifact. Oh. Hey, 11,000 to him, okay. Not bad. It unfortunately didn't do enough to proc her, but it would have been pretty crazy if it did, right? Let's just stun her. Doesn't matter if we get the shield or not. Alright, Karina actually worked pretty decently there in conjunction with the other units, right? She doesn't really counter cleave by herself or anything, obviously, right? Bro, my poor Kron is silenced and unbuffable. Poor little guy. Copium review footage. <laughs> Hey, she worked, guys. He's on Bastion. I'm gonna do this to take off her escort buff. Um, and it's possible C Dom will be able to just insta kill. Let's find out. Maybe it's not enough, and I just die. But he has no escort. I don't know about this one, man. Yeah, this is why I needed ML Pavel. Briar Witch Asaria doesn't combo into my team at all. However, Briar Witch Asaria is about to pop off because that crit buff just protected her thing right there. And so, I don't think it matters. I think we win. Wow, look at that. It literally doesn't matter. There's nothing they can do. How are they going to stop me? They can't revive. Wow. Yeah, he, she gives crit buff, which actually protects my immunity. Wow. Don't ever ignore the power he literally has to rush kill Briar Witch Asaria. Oh my god, and she 15%ed. She's a machine. Hmm. How, should we do this? How are we gonna do this? I wonder if I'm going to be okay. This Tenny is probably around here if he does revive. Show me what you can do. wonder how much getting lucky there will matter in the end. Yeah, he, he's taking forever to break it. 
And I'm building up souls. She doesn't do much damage when they don't have uh, silence on them. Okay, so wait, he has to kill her with just Destina, then get another turn and revive. There's no way that's going to work. This character literally makes Destina completely useless here. She actually is unable to do anything. Even if she procs her right here, she then needs two more turns. And he didn't proc her. Unfortunate. Nothing they can do. Wow. That worked out pretty well. All right, well, let's start with this. Uh, let's do this. We're going to activate Elena, and we're about to activate Pavel. Check this out. Oh, boy. Goodbye. Infinite damage incoming. Activate ML Pavel. Mercis Gluttin push as well. Into Astromancer Elena. Nice and clean. Are you going to provide some entertainment? Well I, I hope this lands. Wait a second, is he gonna get the turn? Or do I do? get it? What? Wait, 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 wait. How did that just happen? <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. Wait! That was so sick. <laughs> that was so sick. Oh my god. Wait, we RNG'd him. We RNG'd him hard. Although, I think I got speed RNG'd too, but... Because I think my Euphine should have gotten the turn there. Oh my god. We got lucky, but that was still so cool. So, let me actually see, where is Elena on the CR bar? She's at 67, and she gets 35% combat readiness from her passive plus flans artifact. If I had a plus 30 flans artifact, you can actually make her slightly slower as well. I just realized I didn't defense break this, but you know what? It's kind of cool, it doesn't even matter that I didn't defense break the M.O. Luis, because my next unit is going to push up no matter what. I feel like this works against uh, Sage Bale and Cezanne as well. Wow. That's really clean and easy, wow. We're going to just stun this little guy right here. So, the problem is, we don't really have defense buff for- oh. Um, his whole team now has Escort of buff, Effectiveness buff, and Immunity. Um, this is incredibly unfortunate. I gotta just save this. Oh, hey, we defense broke. Wow, uh, good thing we have this giant shield on Rylet. She resisted, and she lived because of Escort. Okay, Rowlet didn't get hit. Good start. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait, she's provoked. Imagine her friends proc'd. Oh! Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We lose the defense break, and we do this. Wow, uh, Karina's doing a lot here, guys. 
Karina is just popping off right now. This is insane. Let's see how much damage she does. Please proc artifact. Oh god, this stupid 80% whale artifact. It didn't proc! Her artifact didn't proc! Oh my god, she didn't do anything! Oh Jesus, it could have been anybody! 